Hello my friends, I hope you're having a lovely day, and in today's video we're checking out the hottest damn game on the Switch eShop, <laughs> Asphalt 9 Legends. Uh, that is not hyperbole, that is the truth. In the last week, Asphalt 9 Legends has accrued 1 million downloads. There's no other game last week that we know of that managed a million downloads in a single week. Uh, that's because the game is free. <laughs> Having a free game certainly helps, but just because it's free doesn't mean it's not good. Uh, this is the first official race. I have done the quick tutorial, and that's it, so I don't know how good or bad I'm going to do. Oh, apparently I learned this already. Oh my god, what just happened? <laughs> Now I can see why this game is uh, top of the eShop charts. But anyway, uh, yeah, just because it's free doesn't mean it's bad. Um, the Asphalt series was, oh dear, good enough to have eight other installments so far. It's been very popular. Holy crap, what is going on on mobile? Um, so yeah, people like this series. It's known for uh, having pretty good graphics, especially, uh, you know, in the earlier days of mobile, having good graphics on mobile right now isn't really surprising because, you know... Oh! Oh my god, did I steal it? Oh my god! <laughs> Stole it at the last second! Good lord! That was close. Um, yeah, nowadays a lot of phone games have great graphics. But, uh, you know, a fun arcade-style racer. I'm all about that. Those used to be around a lot more. Um, trying to think of examples uh, San Francisco Rush and Cruise in USA and all that all that stuff um, and you know this aims to at least somewhat be like that kind of these credits will be useful for I'll take them yes I'll take them. all right so anyway the game is free as all as are all other asphalt games I believe um, but of course as you might suspect there are microtransactions now the thing is I went on the eShop and I looked I do not believe you need to spend them to access content. I believe everything in the uh, DLC packs or microtransactions, whatever, there's two packs for 20 bucks each, I believe. Um, I don't think you have to spend money to get them. I think you can play normally and unlock all that content. Now, obviously, it's probably going to take a very long time to do that. Perform a 360 take damage for double tap ZL. Okay. All right, I gotta. St this is great. That is so dumb in the best possible way. <laughs> oh my god, it's so dumb. I love it. It's like a burnout, but uh, I don't know, even crazier. God, that's dumb. That's so great, dumb. <laughs> I want to do it to everybody, but if I feel like I kind of screwed myself over. God, I'm enjoying this game. Oh. <laughs> I'm enjoying this game so much that I'm forgetting what I'm talking about. Uh, yes, I think you can unlock all the content uh, just by playing now. It's going to take you a very long time to do that, but it is what it is. If you can if you can get the content just by playing, you know, which is what people do with games, play them, then I'm totally fine with it. Um, is 20 bucks per pack a little too much? You get, like, cars in there, and uh, I think it says, like, unlock mul- uh, I don't know when I've, I don't know if it's just local or online multiplayer. I don't even know if have if this game has online multiplayer, but I know some sort of multiplayer content it says unlock it instantly. Now, instantly would also lead me to believe that that content can be unlocked without paying for it. So again, as I said, as long as you can get it without having to pay Totally fine, because it seems like there's a crap load of content in here. Obviously, you get uh, a whole bunch of different cars through different ways. You need to do races and not just win them, but like beat times and stuff to unlock more content. Um, you get like cars in card packs, or at least they look like cards anyway. Um, so yeah, there is a lot to do here. And, you know, even if you get the game and you're greatly offended by it, it's free. I, I know some people are going to be like, these type of games shouldn't exist, and I don't want mobile games on Switch, and whatever. That's an argument for another day. Clearly, I don't feel like that. But, uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a free game. Give it a shot. Like, if you're looking for a, a racer, especially an arcade racer, then why the hell not give it a chance? I mean, I personally think it looks good. I really wanted to 
take those people out. <laughs> I personally think it looks good. It's got a good sense of speed. It's definitely more arcade. It just feels fun. Uh, these races are a little quick in the beginning, obviously, but I'm sure <laughs> that's going to change as you continue on. Because uh, there's been other games like this on Switch. There's uh, Gear Club or Gear Dot Club. Am I supposed to say the dot for the title? Um, that has some shorter races and then that strings things together into longer races and then uh, challenges against specific cars to get those cars. And it was fun. I liked I liked Gear Club a lot. Uh, I, I think this game is much better looking than Gear Club, at least the first one that is. Um, and I think this one feels better. Uh, the, game Loft has been making these games for a while now, so they pretty much have it down pat as to a what people like be uh what to offer to players see how much it should cost and all that kind of stuff because they've been doing it and they've been successful so you know these games just have a lot more polish i i think it's fun like great type of game to pick up and play uh because like a oh boy a little trouble there in the beginning the car is very touchy <laughs> um there's the races don't take a lot of time you can just hop in and have some fun and do stupid things like this <laughs> I like it. Man, I don't know if other people are going to be as tickled as I am about that stuff. I just love it. It really does bring back, like, uh, let's go here. Um, vibes from uh, Burnout. I feel like, for me personally, oh my god. For me personally, oh dear. Oh, I can steer in the air. Of course you can, because it makes no sense. Perfect night again. Yeah, I got you. Right until the... Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, okay. That's kind of a neat mechanic. Uh, I was going to say, as for me, Burnout, I feel like it's gotten too far away from what I liked about Burnout. How are you beating me? Um. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't do this. This is great. This game is fun. This is fun. <laughs> yeah, Burnout just got too far away from what I liked about Burnout. Um, I just felt like it just became closer to a regular racing game and lost some of the goofy aspect of it. I know the most recent Burnout... Oh, Jesus. I think it was the most recent Burnout. I don't know. Um, it was popular with people, but I played it... Like, I played Burnout with friends. Uh, all of them. And we played whatever the most recent one was, and we were like, eh... It's not really doing it for us. We miss the old, simpler days of burnout. Can I? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, see, here's the card packs I was talking about. I got that car. Uh, maybe another reason why I like this game is I don't know anything about cars. Like, I really know next to nothing about cars, so I'm not... These are real cars, obviously, but uh, it doesn't matter to me. So I know a lot of people... And this is, this is you know not a complaint of mine and i think people should uh, feel this way but a lot of people are like oh this game only has cars from this company or these companies and i'm looking for these cars okay i get it you're a car person it makes sense you play a car game you want to see cars represented from the companies you like i get that but um you know obviously i think more people don't care so much about that stuff they might be interested in seeing cars from certain companies but they're just more in it to like race and have a silly racing experience this is pretty cool Nope, nope, not doing it to me, bud. Um, so yeah, as you can see from the gameplay so far, this guy, perfect boost, perfect boost. Shockwave, yes, okay. Double press, gotcha. Man, you can just hit people from all over and take them out. Oh, God, I didn't know this was going to scratch my burnout itch. Oh, boy, I'm in trouble. No, I'm not. <laughs> this is, uh, this is, oh, boy. What happened? I got a boost. Oh, I missed my perfect boost. This is uh, way more fun than I thought it was going to be. I just thought it was going to be... I haven't played a... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope, not going to do that. I haven't played an asphalt game in a while. Uh, I remember playing them... Give me that. When they originally came out, and I was impressed. But things have progressed a while since then holy moly this is a lot of fun this is the type of racing game that i like my only complaint so far is that i wish the races were longer but uh like i said i would imagine that's going to happen as we continue on so uh yeah let's end it there that's a quick look at uh asphalt 9 legends on switch uh like i said 
It's a free game, but there are two packs for 20 bucks that I don't think you need to buy to unlock all the content. So play the game for free, see if you like it. Um, and if you don't, no big deal, let's see. Uh, well, the numbers are higher on this one, so that leads me to believe it's better. And it's Switch Colors. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. It's very much appreciated. Also, a huge thank you to the Patreon gang. Uh, we're having a lot of fun over there doing Let's Plays and talk about silly stuff and talk about comics and games in general. Um... You guys supporting Patreon lets me do what I do, the site, the podcast, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. Um, I really appreciate it. If you'd like to learn more about the Patreon, which is only a dollar, you can check out the link in the description below. But as for today, that's it. Uh, again, thanks for watching and, and uh, checking us out, and I'll be back tomorrow with something. I don't know what it'll be, but I'll be back. So until then, have a lovely day and a lovely evening, and I'll see you in a few short hours.